When it comes to the zakah on gold and jewelry, because there is a difference of opinion. So somebody was following the opinion of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Imam al-Shafi'i, Imam Malik, and he wasn't, she wasn't paying zakah on her jewelry. Then later on she was told by Imam Abu Hanifa says whatever. She doesn't have to pay zakah on the past years on the jewelry because she was following the opinion of very, very well respected uh, view of the scholars in this respect. I'm talking about somebody who was totally negligent um, in paying his or her due zakah or fasting the past days of Ramadan. Then you should make them up. 